right, so we're just giving the uh, old Renault 25 a run out, ready for it going to be sold. I just want to make sure everything's all right on it. So we'll head up out onto the motorway and take it for a drive out. Yeah, yeah, come on. I've got the aircon on, yeah. Sweet. Right, so as you're driving along, we've now discovered a problem. It decides to kick itself down and put the light on and it won't change back into third gear unless you flick the accelerator off. You mean the ignition? It goes into to third and it'll stay into third. But as soon as you press the foot down, it drops down into second. And once you're up to speed, flick it, and now we're sitting fine, and it'll cruise all day long. So we're gonna have to cancel the sale and look into what's what's caused this, which I'm absolutely gutted about. Sitting here fine, no problem. Give it some gas, and it should kick itself down. The lights come on. It's not dropped itself down this time. It's dropped itself down there now. So we'll have to get back to the garage and have a look. But I know what these gearboxes are like, and I think that it's going to be terminal because it's just dropping itself down. All the times I've driven it back and forth to MOT, no bother. Go and make sure everything's all right, and this happens. Especially after we've got it all tested and all ready. So we'll head back to the garage now and we'll work out what we can do. So Sam's just having a look now, but I think what we're best off we're going to have to do is have a look online. And I know they suffer with issues with the automatic gearbox. So we're either going to go down the route if he doesn't want to buy it as it is, which I, I don't really want to sell it to anybody with fault. You know, um, so we're either going to look into fixing the fault or see if we could get a manual gearbox and convert it to manual and that's where you lot would come in we'd need your help to see what we could do see if anyone can help put us in the right direction because we're going to need a manual gearbox we'll need a manual flywheel as well won't we sam yeah flywheel pedal box obviously clutch assembly and stuff like that i guarantee it's been done in the past before but we've never done anything on a car like this because it's um I shouldn't be on the road now really, the wax oil saved it. So I'm pretty gutted. So we've just been communicating with Daniel Hopkins, which is the editor of Practical Classics magazine, and we've put the deal off for now. It could still be on the cards. I'm gutted, proper gutted. I can't believe it's decided to uh, have a divvy fit on the sale day. I wanted to get it cleaned, do my cinematic pictures walking round of it all cleaned up, then doing the sale and showing you the part X that we were getting has now got fallen through so it's down to you lot i need your help to find any information about converting this from automatic to manual so it's all down to you i need your help now big style find me a gearbox please pedal box all the information and let's try and get this sale back on see if we can get converted i'm sure there's information i'm going to start googling and having a look so yeah the video is a lot shorter than what it was meant to be only a couple of minutes long so you haven't had to be, be bored by me for so long so yeah rent 25 has had a poo poo on us today thank you very much right so what we're going to start doing now is just have a little bit of research on the computer to see what we can do about the rent 25 so yeah it's been a short one but um we thought we'd fill you in so we need all your help like you say so just um, get in touch. Sam's just going to have a look into uh, what's going on with the Renault 25 now. And I can't keep a straight face. So we'll see you in the next one. I've been Colin. That's been Pigeon. Right, bye now. So you can, it's got them so you can see out of Sam. Have you found anything on online yet? You're still waiting for it to load. Bye now.